guys, it's Kaz and welcome to Geek Galaxy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super delicious and really healthy vegetable mini muffins. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is place your two spinach cubes in a bowl and break them up. Mine was still slightly frozen in the middle so it took me a little while and I had to microwave them. But once you get them broken up, you're then going to put your cottage cheese in and mix that through with them. And once they're combined, you're going to put in one egg. mix that in as well and then you're going to add in your onion, your corn, your carrot, your herbs, I'm using oregano here but you can choose whatever, your salt and your pepper and then mix everything through. Then you're going to add in your chickpea flour here. I'm using chickpea flour because it's gluten free. It's also really high in protein, so it makes this a really healthy muffin for you to eat. I just switched to a scraper here so I can scrape down all the sides of the bowls. This is my little mini muffin maker. It's so cute and adorable. It's bright pink. And I've got these little pans to put into it so the muffins won't stick on the inside. I'm using my mini muffin maker to make these because it heats everything very evenly when it's cooking. Now just scoop about one to two teaspoons of the batter into each little muffin. and then close the lid. Now if you don't have a mini muffin maker then you can always use your oven but just make sure you make these mini muffins really that you make mini muffins not large muffins because the batter is very dense and so if you try to make larger muffins the outside will burn and the inside won't cook even if you put it on quite a low temperature. Now put these in the oven at about 180 degrees Celsius. If you put a chopstick or skewer in the middle of a muffin and it comes out clean, you know it's done. Now be very, very careful when you're taking your little muffins out because the inside of a mini muffin maker is really, really, really hot. So be very careful. And then once you've got all your muffins out, make sure to turn it off straight away. And then once you're finished and they're nice and cool so you won't burn yourself, they're done and you can eat them. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, rate it, thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time. But for now, Kaz out.